Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this new channel logo animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we will call this as main animation width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 10 seconds, background color is solid white and simply hit ok, then choose grid and guide option and hit titles effections. Then I have this logo over here, you are free to choose any logo you want, I will select this logo and I will move this inside of after effects and I will copy this in my composition like that then this logo is available in our project window and in our main timeline also now we have this logo over here press s for scaling option and let's scale it to 30 like this now select this press p for position create one keyframe like that now we will choose rectangle and we don't want any stroke so i'll simply click on this stroke and i'll delete this stroke options hit ok then choose fill color i'll choose red color you are free to choose anything you want but this animation is not about what color you have over here so you can choose anything you want so i'll create one shape like that to cover this nbc yeah now we have to select this and we have to press f4 to switch between these options like that then i'll choose alpha mat in track mat now select this hit u so we can see the position keyframes zoom in a little bit and go to around let's say around one second and create one keyframe go to the start and let's bring this downwards yep this looks good to me now we will select this press f4 and convert this layer into 3d like that now select this layer press s and create one keyframe then press r and create another keyframes not on all but only on y and now hit u so we can see all the keyframes now we will select those keyframes of scale and y rotation and we will move them over here and we will go to around three seconds and scale i am going to choose 20 and rotation i'll choose one rotation so if you see we will get something like this now we will select this position keyframes and we will hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift I'll move this handle over here. Let's hit play. And after that, I'm going to select these keyframes and I'll hit F9 to easy knees those keyframes. Go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, move this handle over here and this handle over here. So we will get something like this. Now we will select this position keyframes and we will move this a little bit forward. So now we will get something like this. So here this is our animation now i'll select all of them by hitting ctrl a i'll press ctrl shift c to pre-comp and i'll call this as logo and hit ok now i'll create another composition so for that i'll hit ctrl n and i'll call it as displacement and hit ok then press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok Go to the effect and presets panel and search for gradient ramp effect. I'll type ramp so I'll get this gradient ramp and simply double click to apply this to this solid layer. And over here we will swap these colors like that. Then simply right click in this uh, place and new and create one adjustment layer. Go to the effect and presets panel and search for uh, mosaic effect and simply double click and horizontal blocks 20 vertical blocks 20 like this go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 to open our project window and simply drag and drop this displacement composition to our main composition i mean main animation composition and simply hide this now select this logo go to the effect and presets panel and search for time displacement effect double click on it to apply this and over here i am going to choose this displacement layer now we will go to the start and i'll choose third resolution so if you see we will get something like this now we will select both the layers we will press ctrl shift c and i'll call this as logo animation and hit ok 
and hit ctrl d let's hide this second one select this first one and increase the scale somewhere around over here select this right click go to the layers styles and i'll choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss increase the size and increase the softness also and you are free to choose any color you want like red yep this looks good yeah now i'm going to select this rectangle and i'll create one shape like that then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center select this shape press r for rotation and let's rotate it like that press s for scaling option unlink this you can increase the scale according to your needs now select this logo animation press f4 and let's choose alpha mat now select this layer press t and opacity i'm going to choose 40 now select this uh, layer press p for position create one keyframe and go to around let's say 3.15 and i'll move this from here to here so now if you see we will get something like this and now we will enable our this main logo layer and i'll move this at this point so it will start to animate from here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this if you want and then you can decrease the opacity of this one also up to 20 it's totally up to you and then you will get something like this i'll choose quarter resolution because it's gonna be a quite heavy yeah now if you want then you can select this logo hit ctrl d press s unlink this option and let's make it minus 100 then press p and let's bring this downwards like that then choose our rectangle tool and by holding shift i'll create one mask go to the mask one properties and let's increase the feathers like this select this press t and let's make it 20 and now we will get the logo animation also and reflection also and then press n at this point so we will get something like this press ctrl y on your keyboard to create a background layer with the white color i'll call it as bg and hit ok and let's bring this downwards and we'll lock this layer then press ctrl y on your keyboard and choose black color for this solid background and hit ok and then we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for lens over here you will get this option called lens flare so simply double click on it with the help of that it uh, it will help us to create this lens animation and we will select this layer and we will choose soft light or let's say overlay maybe you can select this lens flare and as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff let's try to use screen yeah i think the screen mode looks good to me so i'll move this over here initially i'll create one keyframe at the flare center hit you you and at this point at the end of it i'll move this from here to here so now if i see my animation i'll get this lens animation also so yep with the help of that you can get this kind of logo reveal and if you want then you can move this a little bit upward so it will not come gonna come on your logo like this so with the help of that you can create any news channel logo animation or not only news channel but any kind of logo animation with the help of this kind of technique So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.